Welcome back. In this video, we're going to do example 6.5.2. We're told that the determinant of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I is 4, and we're asked to evaluate this monster determinant. So what we're going to do is use row operations to transform this complicated determinant down to this simple one, at which point we'll know the value and we can substitute it in. So let's start by recopying our determinant. So we've got the determinant of D, E, F, 2A minus 3G, 2B minus 3H, 2C minus 3I, and minus 4G minus 4H minus 4I. So we want to transform this down to look like this. And the first operation that I'm going to do is try and get rid of this minus 4. So I'm going to do minus 1 quarter row 3. And we know that that ends up by looking like factoring out this minus 4. So I can say that that's equal to minus 4 times the determinant of, and I'll just use technology here to recopy the uh, portion of the matrix that's not changing. It's not being all that much quicker to actually do that, but here we go. Uh, and then G H I. So we're getting closer, right? We've got the last row in place. Now we want to try and fix these two rows. So the next operation that I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these minus three GHIs here by adding three times row three to row two. So this will be equal two, so the row operation is row two plus three row three, and we remember indeed that operation did not change the determinant, so I have no extra fix. I can just tag along this minus four times d e f two a, so if I do minus three g plus three g, those are going to all going to cancel out, so I'm just going to get here two a, two b, and two c g h i. Okay, so now we got this 2 in row 2 that we can get rid of, so let's do that by multiplying. So we'll do 1 half row 2, and we remember that that looks like factoring out the 2, so we're going to have minus 4 times 2. I could multiply those together and call them minus 8, but this makes it nice and clear that I've done two separate operations. We can see them there. And then we have the determinant D, E, F, A, B, C, G, H I one step left to get us back to the original form and that is an interchange and so the interchange of row one and row two well we know an interchange makes the matrix or the determinant negative so negative negative four times two times the determinant a b c d e f g h i and that is lovely because that was our goal form, in particular because we know the value of that determinant, and so I can say that this is minus, minus 4 times 2 times 4, or 8 times 4, which is 32. So this complicated looking derivative, derivative, look complicated looking uh, determinant when the information from the wrong course slips in, you know it's, it's time to end the video. Uh, the determinant of this matrix was evaluated by reducing it to an easier form and then substituting in the value that we know.